Today's scripture reading will be a dramatization of Luke chapter 1, verses 5 to 25 and 57 to 80. Congregation, you will have an active role. Your lines are printed in the bulletin, and I will cue you with a raised hand. To understand the life of Jesus, I must first give you some background history, events that occurred when Herod ruled Judea for the Roman Empire. Zechariah was serving as a priest in the temple in Jerusalem those days, like his ancestors had before him. He and his wife Elizabeth were both of the priestly lineage of Aaron, Moses' brother. They were good and just people, obeying the religious law. Yet they were sad because they had no children. They were both old and expected they would never be able to have a child. One day, Zechariah was performing his priestly duties in the temple in Jerusalem, according to the temple's normal schedule and routine. The tradition was to cast lots for the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to enter the sacred rooms of the temple. There he burned incense, while outside a large crowd of people prayed. Zechariah realized he was not alone. A messenger of the Lord was there with him. Mark. Zechariah was shocked and afraid, but the messenger reassured him. Zechariah, calm down. Don't be afraid. Zechariah, your prayers have been heard. Your wife is going to have a son, and you will make him John. He will bring you great joy and happiness. And many will share your, your joy at John's birth. This son of yours will be a great man in God's sight. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit from the time that he is in his mother's womb. Here is his mission. He will turn many of the children of Israel around to follow the path of God. He will come in the spirit and power of the prophet Elijah. He will turn the hearts of the parents to their children. He will turn the hearts of the disobedient to the just and good. Your son will be the Lord's forerunner, the one who will prepare the people and make them ready for God. How can I be sure of what you are be telling me? I am an old man, and my wife is far past the age for women to bear children. This is hard to believe. I am Gabriel. The messenger who inhabits God's presence. I was sent here to talk with you and bring you this good news. But because you didn't believe my message, you will not be able to talk. Not another word until you experience the fulfillment of my words. Meanwhile, the crowd in the temple wondered why Zechariah hadn't come out of the sanctuary yet. It wasn't normal for the priest to be delayed so long. When at last he came out, he was making signs with his hands to give the blessing, but he could not speak. They realized he had seen some sort of vision. When his time on duty at the temple came to an end, he went back home to his wife. Shortly after his return, Elizabeth became pregnant. She avoided public contact for the next five months. I have lived with the disgrace of being barren for all these years, and now God has looked on me with favor. When I go out in public with my infant, I will be disgraced no longer. When the time was right, Elizabeth gave birth to a son. Everyone in the community shared her joy, for after all these years, she had a son. 
As was customary, eight days after the baby's birth, the time came for his circumcision and naming. Everyone assumed he would be named Zechariah, like his father. No. We will name him John. That name is not in your family. Zechariah, what do you want the baby's name to be? He motioned for a tablet. And he wrote, his name is John. Everyone was shocked by this breach of family custom. They were even more surprised when at that moment, Zechariah was able to talk again. And he shouted out praises to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A sense of reverence spread through the whole community. Wow. wow. <laughs> this story quickly spread throughout the hilly, countryside of Judea. People were certain that God's spirit was in this child, and they wondered what sort of person John would turn out to be when he became a man. After Zechariah's voice was restored to him, he sang a song of blessing. <laughs> 